Okay, in this problem, we're gonna look at the mass of an electrolysis product. Now this could be, you know, coating something with silver or with copper, uh, where you're, you know, purposely plating something. Uh, in this problem, we'll look at generating some chlorine gas uh, from sodium chloride or brine. Um, and so the, the overall reaction uh, here that we're looking at is uh, NaCl reacting with the water. to form uh, Cl2 gas, some hydrogen gas, and NaOH. Now this happens on different sides of the cell. Uh, and so what we're worried about here is this half uh, reaction right here. So we have NaCl, when it is aqueous, we'll go to Na plus and Cl minus. And so taking this, Cl minus and going to Cl2 is what we're worried about. Now, this is oxidation, right? We're going from a minus one to a zero. Uh, and so this is what happens at the anode of the cell. <clears throat> and so this is what we're working with. Now, the important part of, of understanding this half reaction is how many electrons are we working with? because that is gonna be crucial in the uh, math that we're gonna do. Uh, and so we see that it takes two electrons because we have two, we have two minus on this side and with the two electrons, we have two minus. It's gotta balance. Uh, the electrons have to balance. Those charges have to balance. We have to be uh, the same on both sides. So now let's look at the rest of it, right? We're gonna start from amps and seconds and work towards moles of electrons, which will tell us how much chlorine. And then once we do figure that out, we can figure out uh, the grams of chlorine gas. Uh, so uh, we learned that coulombs are equal to amps times seconds. And we're gonna use Faraday's constant, uh, which is equal to 9.65 times 10 to the fourth coulombs per mole of electrons. And so that's where this is going to come into play. So we're going to start out by multiplying our 690 amps times our 79 seconds. Now, if that wasn't given in seconds, you'd have to calculate. Uh, that gives me 54,510 coulombs. Now, uh, this is a conversion, right? So every one mole of electrons is equal to 9.65 times 10 to the fourth coulombs. And then I can keep going. There are two moles of electrons for every one mole of CO2 gas. So we're going from moles of electrons to moles of Cl2, right? We can do a stoichiometric conversion between these moles of electrons and any one of these. It's a two to two here. It's a two to one here. Now, do not forget that step. If you happen to get a one electron half reaction, it might work out without doing that step. But anytime it's not one to one, that step is gonna be crucial. Then the last thing would be for every one mole of Cl2, I have 70.91 grams. So I can get all the way from amps and seconds, which is coulombs to grams and I get 20.03 grams of CO2. Now it says round of three significant digits, so it's gonna be 20.0 grams. There we go. Okay, so this, Reaction part is probably the trickiest part of this and then not forgetting that in there. Um, but then, you know, most of them should have uh, some sort of amps and seconds that will need to be multiplied by Faraday's constant and then solving for math. 